Hello everyone, it's Uncle Destiny back here with you, and it's time to get the reading done for May. As we come up on Beltane, for some of us uh, who practice that particular faith, as well as some recent astrological events, too, that have brought a lot of energy and shifts as well. So we're going to get a better sense of what all of that is bringing for us. Uh, I have been recording this on the 30th, so today is also a new moon. So we're at the start of a new cycle of things. And there are several eclipses that are going to be happening this month as well. So we're going to see what that has to, has to say, as well as the fact that we got a Mercury retrograde. So again, the choices and the energies are being moved here. You want to start them now and you want to start them with the goal of getting through the month so that you can get through the rest of the year. So let's see what the ancestors have to say. Alrighty, so we have thrown the bones, we've laid out the dice, and we got the adinkra. So, starting with the dice, we're in the third house, and this is the house of communications, siblings, friends, neighbors, and community. So it's much more about our sense of our relationships that are going on here, and those that we are connected with. Now, the adinkra is giving us the knot of knowledge, or sorry, to say, the wisdom knot. And this focuses on wisdom, in ingenuity, intelligence, and patience. So when we're looking at how this connects with the third house, we're looking at how we're being wise in our communication, how we're being in, uh, intelligent and patient in our communications, how we're being uh, in, uh, creative and bringing that aspect of wisdom into our communications. And that includes with our siblings, with our friends, with our neighbors, and with our community. Now there is a saying, it is the wise who can untie the wisdom knot. Equally, then going a little further, a knot made with wisdom can only be untied by the wise, not the fools. So again, a knot made with wisdom cannot be untied except by those with wisdom, or by wisdom, I should say, and not the fool. So when we look at the communications that we're going to be bringing out here, we need to basically look from wisdom, not from the fool when we're trying to communicate, not from the, not, not being um, speaking less of the intelligence of our siblings and our friends, but being aware of also the emotional energy that's influencing what's going on with our siblings and our friends, and by extension, our neighbors and our community. This is very much a card talking about the social sense and there have been portents, and I've heard this from others, that May is going to be a month that there's going to be some sort of shift. And given the other things I listed at the beginning of the video, we may we're going to definitely be seeing a point where wisdom needs to be needs to be the place we're operating from, and that is wisdom that is understanding emotions, not being ruled by emotions. That is wisdom that is using what intelligence provides us and not ignorance. Because again. The fool cannot untie the knot if it's made with wisdom. So when we look at the throw we've got here, only two of our main bones are in this one. So we're down one. And without any surprise, this one is our social home family bone. This one over here, which is off to the side, that one's the work bone. And it's it's going to have its own issues. Work is going to be its own insulation here, but it's going to have its influence on communication. So you want to be very conscious about what type of communications you're having when you're in the work environment and how it's the house. Now, the bigger one, again, is this one here that's related to the family and social, which ties so much in with what's going on here. This is where we've got the biggest clustering of them. And the clustering here, we have the shell that's turned out uh, and we have the outside of it. So this is about energy that's coming into the into the family system, into the friendship system, into the neighborhood, into the community. That and now that also doesn't mean that we won't also put up the shell to protect ourselves from something that's going on, even if it is a truth that we don't want to sit with. And that's also one of the most difficult places because we want to just withdraw, throw the shield up, and just let it pass. And it's going to be very key about who we communicate with and how we communicate with somebody who has gone back into their shell and put 
themselves behind that defensive place. It's going to be very important how we communicate with people when we are sitting in the shell, because it's very easy for us to also push people away out of a sense of protection. And that's then where we look at here, the quartz piece, which is in very close to it. And I, it very much says to me that there's an issue about how are we perceiving each of the events. We need wisdom to be able to perceive the events, not just emotion. And again, that works both ways. So for the person who's in the shell looking out and those looking in at the person who's inside their shell, we have to be very conscious about how we're communicating with them. And so that's where I notice we have a parallel place with the, uh, for the spinal bone here and also the inspiration. So we want to basically hold that in a relationship that we want to basically, again, be using our wisdom to draw, oh, sorry, our wisdom to temper our emotions. Our emotions will drive us, but we must use logic and our wisdom to temper it so that it is in, so that we're keeping our emotions in balance. And a wise person knows that there are some times where you just do not step into an event because somebody is in a place that they will end up doing harm to anyone who makes contact with them. This is one of the things that sort of comes up with the idea that uh, somebody who's in a crisis moment, that you're supposed to try and stand there in logic and reason with them. No, you're not gonna, that's not going to happen. This is sadly the point that results in, say, people getting strapped down to airplane seats with duct tape. Or, sadly, much more effectively, as a person of color, ends up getting shot by the police. So, we don't want to have that happening this next month. And so we need, again, to be working with wisdom, not foolishness. So we've also got support here in how we look at things. And this may be an aspect, too, where we need to talk about it as a group to sort of figure that out. Now, down here, we have the copper piece, which is surrounded by our, our, our basically our tailbones, which are providing balance. We've got our the rib bone, which is providing inspiration. We've got a spinal bone, which is talking about our intelligence and the nervous system. All of that's going on here in this cluster. There's a lot of things that are interconnected even the broken rib bone here. And it's at this point, not so much being one that is, we'd be standing on like a cane. It's actually something more of a balancing. And it kind of, again, reminds me that we are needing to balance and spirit will help us balance as long as we are again, being open to provide, listening to the conduit it's sharing with us. So this sense of the third house with communication also goes with spirit. How are we listening to spirits communications? We also got sort of the this bone here, which gives us sort of the standpoint of how we're looking at wishes. And we need to understand wishes are not always communication. We've got to be conscious about what the wishes are. So we also have this one here up next to it. So I definitely see that there's going to be stuff around how we oh how we look at what's going on with our family. So, again, wisdom is what we're needing to embody the most in this next month. And wisdom and how we communicate. Because, again, how we communicate can either push someone to away from us or bring them closer to us. We can cause people to want to flash out and hurt others. And we have people who want to bring others in for the hug. And we really, 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 really need people to be coming more for the hug, even though I know COVID has been an issue. But that's the energy we're looking to have. We're looking to improve our sense of communications and our sense of connection for the month of May. So this is Uncle Destiny. I'm wishing you well on behalf of the ancestors and the Arishas. And again, work from a place of wisdom. We want to tie the knot with wisdom. Mm -hmm.